Fidget Cube. Ah, uh, I, I guess I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say that without thinking. But today, it's fine if we didn't. That we didn't have as much time as it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whatever you want, just come over or go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot you don't like going out much. Some little of my words here, simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so. You're very thoughtful, Brennan. He takes a step closer to me and then briefly squeezes my hand. She got really close, like, she's a giant now. Kinda like that about you. Well, the music kinda stopped, and I guess everything stopped. My heart stopped. You stabbed me in the heart. <laughs> uh, well, how am I supposed to respond to that? If I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, uh, hi, Brendan. Sorry. Just now we weren't. Hee <laughs> It's okay, Brendan. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Ah, uh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we're, but we were, but we're all a, we're all be together at the festival tomorrow, so. So that's fine, right? Of course. Sorry, Beams. Yeah, so, I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed here, Russ hurries off. Sorry, raves goodbye after her. Are you watching this whole time? And just like, cut in at the exact moment? <laughs> She's like, secretly like a yandere or something? <laughs> Sorry. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, I, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here to see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. Makes me feel really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Dude, so I have to fall down Suri's face. It's all that matters to me. Oh, well, I feel this way, Brendan. I'm supposed to be happy for you. What does it make my heart? It's split it in half. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I if I could just disappear. Sorry, to, sorry, don't say that. It's true, Brennan. If I wasn't here, then you would have wasted your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I suggest... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sorry? Was it... What... What I said before is true. I'm not... I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you is like... Isn't a burden... Isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. Something that I would... I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime of going to be by your side until you, you don't feel any more pain. But, sorry, looks away. I put my hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Brendan. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sora? I'm scared that, that I might be more, that I might like you more than you like me. Sorry. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Man, it's got like all dramatic music and everything. Brendan. I like you so much that I want to die. <laughs> that's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, sorry. I don't want, I don't want you to hurt anyone anymore. I slide my hand down Sorry's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. You remember how I said, I, I always know what's best for you? Still believe me? Wordless, sorry, nods. Even if I don't understand all your feelings, I know that you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Ooh, 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 sorry. Hey, let me save right here. Empty slot. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna put... <laughs> You'll always be my dearest friend. 
or I love you. I, I gotta say, uh... Uh. <laughs> Sorry. I love you. Eh. Those are my true feelings. There's no way... There's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending so much time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you today. It helps me realize that you're truly the most important most important person to me and that's why I accepted it I accept any of your burdens as long as they continue like this every day you by my side then I know we'll, we'll both be happy Fred did suddenly sort of wraps their arms tightly around me you don't get to see myself hi we haven't got to see ourselves so far in a cl in a clip or anything suddenly sort of wraps her arms tightly around me <laughs> This is like sad and emotional. Brendan, is this really okay? Yeah, I hold Sorry in my arms and pull her closer. You never have to let go of me again. I love you, Brendan. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sorry's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Sorry? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me, but why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Brennan. It's okay, sorry. It might take some time for things to get better again. No matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. It's all that matters right now. Okay, I trust you. Oh my god. God! Sorry and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Hee <laughs> hee. What are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I, I want everything to be the same as it as always has been. Even if we really are a couple. Aussie smiling. I don't know if I could have handled anything more right now. I don't know if, if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Brian, sorry, gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. And if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Uh, I don't understand what story means by that. I say that this is making you feel sad, sorry? I don't know. I understand what I'm feeling. I felt like a bunch of thorns when he told me. I, I felt like a bunch of thorns when he told me he loved me. That's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. I don't know anything. Just made that up. <laughs> that's that's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more un uncertain when it comes to Story. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having so much trouble understanding Story's feeling that she is, even though I can comfort her. She keeps wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. That is what Sora meant by not wanting anything to change. I don't know. But I don't know what to give it. Ex but I know what I'll give it everything I've got. Sora is the most important, per is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. All of the days I expected this to be the one where I walk out of school with Sari. But Sari isn't answering her phone. I considered going into her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparation for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything and I, res I reassured her. Funny enough, I probably feel the same way at Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend more time with Sora and Yuri at the, at the festival. But no one, Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. 
Why is the music still not on? Brendan! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early. That's that's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she's prepared that has all the poems. They must be the ones we're preparing. We must be... They must be the ones she's prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'm, I'll am i be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sora with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days like... On days this important, she'll she try a little harder. I say that, but I still remember what Sora, Sora told me yesterday. And I still don't feel off or no one. That's nearly... It's not nearly that simple for her. I only said that because of the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I could have gone to wake her up after all. Ha ha. Take, you should take a little responsibility for her, Brennan. I mean, especially after your, after your exchange with her yesterday. Kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange. Monica. You know, about that. Of course I do. I call it president after all, but I stammer embarrassed. Did Sorry really tell her about that? About it that quickly? Or she is a spy. She's been spying on us this entire time. I don't I don't know about the other one for now. Pink haired. That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up to any with anyone yet. Jeez. I don't know the full story at all. You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Uh, Monica is being as friendly as usable. For some reason, I felt a little chill going my, down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? Come out. They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on my desk. Or maybe she's like Sans with like her knowledge of like the past choices and stuff you made and stuff i i don't know like reset the game or something she like because she broke the fourth wall that one time hmm i grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk oh yeah they did oh yeah they really did something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously yeah i thought so too i flipped through the pages each member's poem is Neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poem from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sorora's poem. It's different from, from the ones she practiced. It's one she, that I haven't heard before. Okay, so. We have a little percentage sign. And we got a little chingy song. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Okay, 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 okay. Then at the end, get out of get 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 out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know what is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing in this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. I don't understand this poem. It's got a really in-depth kind of feel the way I, I I can never understand the deeper meaning of poems ah what is this reading the poem I get a little bit I get a little I get a pit in my stomach Brendan what's wrong uh nothing the poem feels completely different from everything else Sora has written but more than that I changed my mind I'm going to get Sora so ah well all right I'm not gonna try not to take too long okay I quickly head to the classroom don't strain yourself Monica calls out after me I quicken my pace. I run all the way home. What was I thinking? Did I try to live a little bit harder for Sora? It's not a big deal. 
to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even simple dressing or waiting for her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that we will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and I'll, that's what I'll give her. I read Sora's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I, ho I open the door and let myself in. Sorry? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. It's really something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, I just, it just feels right. Outside Sora's room, I knock on her door. Sorry? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. Really don't want to have entered her room like this. Isn't, isn't this kind of like a breach of privacy? Where are her parents or anything? Like, do her parents not even care? That we're just breaking into her house? Don't even have, like, we're knocking on her on her door. Bang, 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 bang. Hey, wake up. Parents. Nope, not even home. But she leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Sorry. Oh my... Oh my goodness, that jump scare though. Ah. Do do do. Hey, the background. Hey, it's kind of glitching out and unexpected. Unexpected has occurred. The game script line, see backtracking for details. You know, actually, when I opened this game, an unexpected error did happen. Oh my goodness, all the. It's kind of like fourth wall breaking, I kind of saw of it. Do 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 Maybe I should have said like let's be best friends because that's like how it was forever. Boom boom. What the hell? What the? <laughs> what the? What the hell? This is a nightmare. It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sorry, I wouldn't do this. Everything was normal until a few days ago. Then why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I surpri I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday I told Sarah I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Then why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confess sh I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sora needed at all. She didn't mean to she even told me how painful it was for other for others to care about her. That's why I that's why I did confess to her to make her feel and made her feel even worse. Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming keeps telling me that everything I could have done to prevent this. I just spent more time with her, walked walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing, nothing I can do can bring her back. This is... This isn't some game where I could reset and try something different. Is it? Dun dun dun. I had only one chance and I, and I, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth than worth more than hers but I still couldn't do what was needed for me and now I can never take it back never 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 the end did it do did do 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 and one of these characters seem a little bit off to me um yeah so um how long has I ever recorded I don't, I don't even know it, it's been a while um <sighs> okay so that was kind of uh traumatizing um I know there's more ends than this and I I, I probably will play more than them, all of them probably um, but for now, I'm going to leave it off like this. Anyway, see you in the next episode. Oh my god, <laughs> beat out.